Hello, I welcome you all to this another interesting screen test. We are going to be solving this engineering mechanics problem and it reads a particle is constrained to travel along the path uh, if x is equal to 4 t to the power of 4 where t is uh, in seconds determine the magnitude of the particles at velocity and acceleration when t is equal to 0.5 seconds. Solution. All right. So we have function of x okay i mean we have x we have x which is the function of t and is equal to 4 t to the power 4 we have also y squared which is equal to 4 x all right um what other information do we have that's about it. They're asking us to find the magnitude of the particle's velocity. So we know that velocity in the x direction is going to be equal to dx over dt, and this is equal to uh, 16 t to the power 3. Okay. So bx is equal to x with a dot equal to 16t cubed. Our y, our y is going to be equal to root of 4x, which is equal to 2x to the power half. Okay, so side we can replace uh, we know what x is, we can bring this x and then place it where we have uh, x there. Okay, or we can use the chain rule, whichever. Okay, so this will become y is equal to 2 uh, times 2 times 4 t to the power 4. Uh, to the power half right and this therefore is going to be equal to 2 by 2 uh, t squared right which is equal to 4 t squared and then uh, my velocity in the y direction which is going to be equal to y dot will be equal to dy dt is equal to h t all right so now before we find the magnitudes let's find uh, the values of uh, velocity so we have now two equations for velocity we have one in the x direction which is equal to 16 t cubed and in the y direction it is a t so now v of x at t is equal to 0.5 will be equal to 16 by 0.5 to the power 3 this will give us 16 by 0.5 to the power 3 this will give us a 2 and v y of 0.5 t is equal to 0.5 of 8 by 0.5 is going to be equal to 4 so with these two values we can find the magnitude of velocity okay vx squared plus vy this is at t is equal to 0.5 I have to specify this at t is equal to 0.5 seconds y squared is equal to uh, 2 squared plus 4 squared and then b gives me equal to b is going to be equal to 4 plus 16 and root of that gives us a four point four seven meters per second. 
So the magnitude of velocity at t is equal to 0.5 seconds is equal to 4.47 meters per second. All right. So we've also been asked to find the acceleration when t is equal to 0.5, right? Okay, we know that acceleration is going to be equal to is equal to um we are differentiating now with the velocity velocity so acceleration in the x direction is a uh, is a uh, x double dot which is equal to uh, dvx with respect to time and this gives us a three a three by sixteen a three by sixteen t to the power two and this gives us three by sixteen is about forty eight right this gives us a forty eight uh, t squared and acceleration in the y direction is going to be y double dot which is equal to d v velocity in the in the y direction t and this is going to be what we, we we are differentiating we started with this one now i'm on this one it's going to be equal to um eight therefore my acceleration at 0.5 is going to be equal to 48 by 0.5 squared this gives me 48 by 0.5 squared is 12 for acceleration in the y direction, there is no change. There is no change. It's the same value at 0 0.5 is constant in the y direction is h. And the magnitude now of this acceleration is going to be equal to rt. T is equal to 0 0.5. It's going to be equal to ax squared plus ay squared is equal to 12 squared plus 8 squared, this is going to be equal to 12 squared plus 8 squared. Uh -huh. Out of that, it gives us a 14.42. So my acceleration, my acceleration is going to be equal to, we have these equations, just one minute, let me write them down. We have acceleration in the x direction, which is equal to uh, 48 t squared, and acceleration in the y direction is equal to 8. And therefore, uh, my uh, acceleration magnitude itself at t is equal to 0.5, at t is equal to 0.5, is giving me a 14 point. 42 meters per second squared so i guess this is about it this is a two here this is about it um uh, thank you for listening i hope the video is helpful uh, bye bye and i'll uh, see you in my next uh, screen